When analyzing the knee angle data, the first thing to do is to make sure you measure the inside angle, not the outside. To do this, you can make a graph and have a look to see if your angle exceeds 180 degrees or goes down towards 90 degrees. If they do exceed 180 degrees like this, you can reverse them by subtracting the angle from 160 degrees. You can then fill down the formula by double clicking the right hand corner of the box. So now if we graph the new data, we should have the knee angle that we expect. So the next thing we need to do is determine the minimum point which represents the lowest vertical point in the counter movement. So that's squatting down. And then the maximum knee angle, which is full extension. To do this, we calculate the min and max of the range surrounding that area. So scroll over the graph and have a look at the data points around there. So in our case, 365 and over here, 488. So these are going to be our indexes for where we're searching. Now to calculate our min and max. We type in the formula equals min, use our new column data, which is column C, and then select from C365 to C488. And then we'll do the same thing for max. So we can just copy and paste this formula here, and paste it here, and change the min to max. So now we've calculated the min and max. And then we're going to get an approximate location for the max and min. This is done by just scrolling down on the graph here. So 450, and for our max around 481. So this is going to be our min index and our max index. The next thing to do is calculate our angular displacement and our angular velocity. The angular displacement is simply the difference between the max knee angle and the min knee angle. and the angular velocity is the change in time during that displacement. So column A is our time index between 481 and 450. So divide angular displacement by the difference between A481 and A450. So we've displaced 83.8 degrees at a rate of 324.4 degrees per second. You'll then calculate this for each of your jumps. There should be five jumps per trial. Take the average and standard deviation and report them in the group data.